Okay, I'm ready to go. We're recording. Okay, well, uh, it's Saturday afternoon in, in Singapore, 3 p.m. A massive welcome to uh, Mike. I've known you for many years. Tell us a little about your story and let's uh, get the show on the road. All right. Okay, Dylan. Uh, yep. Um, thanks, uh, thanks for having me. So uh, uh, just a little bit about myself. I'm, I'm a Kiwi. So the first thing I should say is congratulations, South Africa, on the Rugby World Cup. And uh, what a magnificent win. Yeah, absolutely. I had some Saffirs with me watching and I was as delighted as they were, I think. Um, so, uh, you know, I had to... How, how to how to lift at the how to peak at the right time what a what a lesson yeah, yeah. what a lesson in, in athlete management on preparation and the whole bit so anyway um, and so that's that's a sport was a pretty big big part of my life growing up in New Zealand just yes. like you because I know you played a played a lot of sports uh, I wasn't particularly very good at uh, a lot of them until I discovered multi sport and uh, I discovered I could run okay and I could cycle pretty well. And um, that led, um, over the years, I've been bike riding 50 years, uh, combination of road racing, velodrome, specialist time trial. And then I discovered one fine day when I came to Singapore 20 years ago that I could, I could actually swim okay. And um, so that led to a uh, fair bit of time spent competing and doing okay as an age grouper, um, some a few national championships here and there, uh, national team uh, as well. And uh, then I morphed into to coaching for around 10 years and um, over the time around 50 athletes. So fairly ingrained in the DNA has been movement, has been trying to figure out what marginal gains look like. And I could, yeah, yeah. I could, I could say categorically, I always overtrained. I always had a lack of <laughs> a lack of faith and belief in in that 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 was enough, and I yeah, could yeah. Uh, I could say that um, I almost never recovered properly or didn't know yeah, how yeah. to do it. So that was the genesis of the idea of recovery systems, which really started yeah. back twenty years ago, and uh, okay. with a with a medical project. And um, here we here we are today. We're uh, we're about five years in. That's brilliant, man. What a success story, right? Coming back, just quite, uh, rewinding just a slight little bit, did you, did you prefer being an athlete or being a coach? It was a hard job doing both because yeah. uh, as, a, as an athlete, you need to be fairly single-minded. Probably the word selfish would be um, a fair word that's probably nicer words to use than that but uh <laughs> yeah. as a as a coach you really uh, there's not too i i competed and coached at the same time uh for for a period of time but it was hard yeah. going and you you really uh, you know you really have as a coach you have your athlete's best interest at heart and it's difficult keeping your eye on what you know being completely focused on what you're doing at the same time so it became yeah. a natural progression to move from competing to to actually uh, move into almost full time coaching. Then my relationship with the exercise changed to being one of yes, yes, uh, yes. Well, well being and uh, and trying not to break myself because I had a, a couple of surgeries along the way that that weren't particularly nice and took a a long period to recover from. You know, hence absolutely, man. Yeah, hence the reinforcement of the I never got recovery completely yeah, now yeah, yeah. and uh yeah you say five years ago you kind of initiated and started this lovely company called recovery systems tell us a little bit about that and uh how that kind of just has evolved into this uh, kind of three-headed beast yeah well around seven years ago i tried this thing called intermittent compression and there was a company that's that's been fairly established in this category of recovery called normatech good company really good uh and I thought, you know what, this is really good stuff. But I, I felt that, that the price point was out of reach of most people. And yeah. uh, what I learned along the way was there were some features uh, that they were maybe missing a trick on as well. So we set about to try and do a better job and also to bring 
product within reach of the weekend warriors, everyday athletes, okay. right, okay. right, uh, right through to uh, elite and professional uh, setups. So accessibility was uh, your kind of main focus coming off that for for every for the everyday user, as you say, and not just elite athletes. Yeah, that's right. So uh, you know, from if I wanted to put a, just a pig in the ground from a price point, our products start yeah. out at, at around seven hundred and fifty dollars. Which, um, if you if you compare it to the, say, for example, the cost of a massage, and we'll go into the difference between what we do and what a massage does a little later. Yeah. On. Uh, but uh, but then we looked at modality, like you know, could you travel with it? Could you could you put it in your backpack? You know, could you get it down to 500 grams so it could fit in your backpack? So even while you're sitting on this podcast, you could be under under the table. Recovery is going on whilst you're carrying on your, uh, you know, your, your the desk part of your job. Uh, so we looked at uh, all those yeah. t- type of modality. It does sound massively uh, attractive and convenient as well. Yeah, I think, yeah. uh, you know, you mentioned the word intermittent uh, compression just uh, Moments ago, can you tell us a little about that and what are the benefits of that about, about yeah, the sure. compression? Okay, well, intermittent compression's been around the medical world for around thirty years. It's been used to treat a lot of medical conditions, and that is, a, by the way, a third of our business is treating diabetes, lymphedemia, swelling related to those, um, DVT, and other vascular conditions, um, including, say, for example, pre and postnatal. Or pregnancy related swelling, in other words. Uh, so, intermittent compression is a squeeze phase and a release. So, I'm going to of the boot squeezing from the foot to the thigh. Uh, and in doing so, it's moving very, in simple terms, it's moving the bad stuff out on a one minute squeeze phase, then a release okay. phase of around 20 seconds. It's bringing the good stuff back to speed up the healing, you know, nutrients and so on. The healing recovery and ultimately what what you're looking for Dylan is gains yeah yeah 100 percent and how, how long would this process usually take uh, last for at least normally uh, a treatment session could be 20 or 30 minutes but uh, you, you may have an athlete that that has a say you know a 30 30 hour load in their week 30 hours of training they may be training two or three times a day uh, not not yeah. un, un, uncommon in your, in your game with uh, yeah, uh, yeah, with yeah. CrossFit for sure. So you've got to bounce back from those sessions. So short sessions, short recovery sessions will help you to bounce back uh, from that. But mo- uh, the, probably the most important time of day to use it is before bed. Yeah. Okay. For mo- yeah. in most cases, it knocks people out. Yeah, I can imagine. Like yeah, you know. You're going to discuss myself massaging a little bit later, but you know, even going for a a, a good massage can definitely uh, have an effect as well. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's the body relaxing and the parasympathetic system kind of taking over, and uh, the body coming into that kind of rest and digest phase that puts you to sleep. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. So the the parasympathetic system is is very important in that process. Uh, it's it's triggered. Uh, and we, we've seen a, um, we've seen a, in, in a lot of instances at races where we've been doing the recovery after afterwards, and we should um, we'd love to get along to a CrossFit Games one of these days and do the recovery in between heats as well. Uh, and most people are, are falling asleep, so this is the parasympathetic system call, um, kicking yeah. in because most yeah, of, yeah. most of that recovery is the the nervous system. That's that's what's registering the pain. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we, we kind of have such a chat over about athletes and who, who are your uh, customers and athletes using the product? Yeah, so it's everyone from, from weekend warriors and, and I'm going to say non-professional athletes. And that really uh, also includes some very competitive athletes uh, that, that are probably make, not making, they're not doing it full time, making a full time living out of it, but it is their passion. And what they're trying to do is balance the equation, the energy requirements between work, their passion for, for training and sport and competing, and their, their family life. Um, yes. So there, there's a whole recovery equation in there uh, in order to make everything work because uh, nobody, 
likes it when you fall asleep on date night, Dylan? One hundred percent, man. So yeah, you a, haven't recovered. Uh, yeah, there, yeah, a, you, you, yeah you exactly. Make sure, man. You or, have or, recovered. Yeah. So there, I mean, there's a there's a real life example because we're all needing to be functioning human beings and the other things that we're doing as well. So it's everyone from from those folks. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, in Singapore. The national NSAs are our customers and. Um, Apologies for my image jumping around. I hope it's not putting folks off. I am here. I'm not here and gone. I am here. But um, <laughs> we, we try to fix that, but it seems as though we need to persist. So thank you for your patience with that. Um, so we've got uh, rugby, football, uh, kayaking, canoeing, uh, basketball, um, athletics, um, uh NSA is in other countries, Indonesia, the high performance sport, Indonesia, high performance sport, Singapore, the, the sport, the science arm of Singapore's sport uh, customer of ours, uh, um, New Zealand rugby. And we, we, have, yeah, a, we have a contract with, uh, with them around, their, uh, uh, around uh, some tournaments that uh, they run. Probably our biggest client uh, to date is the Rugby World Cup. Um, yeah last year so we we won the contract to supply it wasn't a sponsorship deal they liked what we were uh doing uh we we had several calls with them we talked to them about different um recovery scenarios uh and we um we kind of in a way consulted based on a lot of big events we've done every, everything from ironman to bike races to spartan races and so on so we we gave some inputs and uh they liked the sound of it and and gave us gave us an order and uh, so for us rugby world cup was a double delight seeing south africa won win if it wasn't the all blacks in south africa are just fine uh, but Absolutely. we also we, we were really emotionally invested in in that knowing yeah. that uh, yeah. we, we were really involved so um and then sounds like uh, a massive uh, quite a broad spectrum of people i must say yeah. Yeah, well, look, even even here in Singapore, for example, national team members of triathlons and cycling, uh, they are for, they're sports that aren't particularly greatly funded. Uh, all those guys spent their own money to buy what we do because they know yeah. what marginal gains look like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 1% rule, right? Absolutely. Well, 1% is compound over time. So if, yeah, you've, got, if you've got a, you know, you're, you're going for... Uh, fittest fittest man in uh, in Singapore. You know it's a journey of marginal gains between now and competition time, when, whenever that is. So uh, absolutely, man. And uh, yeah, tell us a little about kind of you know is this designed for daily use, um, weekly? You know, give us a bit of insight into how often we should be using the the system. Yeah, so it's a daily use scenario. And in say for example your case. I would say it should be at least twice a day. Uh, I would say as a fitness professional, it should be something that you should be introducing to your clients as well. Because really, aside from faster recovery, it's also doing, uh, it's giving soft tissue a helping hand as well. Because when you yeah. think about soft tissue areas, they're not on a major arterial route, and therefore they don't get a fair go from a blood supply point of view. That's why yeah. things like, ligament injuries um, take a long time to heal because they're not on a made blood flow area. So we're actually pushing the blood in at quite a bit of pressure. Give you an example. Uh, a compression sock, for example, is around 20 mmHg G of pressure mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's static. It's, it's holding things and it'll only work when you're moving because then you're getting kind of a squeeze from the muscle. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and that is, that's good. Uh, whereas, so that's 20, ours, our leggings, for example, are 240 mmHg, oh, wow. and they're squeezing yeah. foot to the thigh. Um, or, uh, yeah, so th there's, a big, there's a big effect. And that squeeze and release, the magic happens in two ways. The squeeze, as I mentioned, bad stuff out. The release phase, good stuff back to complete the process of healing, uh, recovery, and, okay. and okay. games. So, um, we, we've also got different cuffs for different body parts. So the, the first place you should try 
or the first place you should use and for most athletes are the legs furthest mm -hmm. most point lymphatic systems mm -hmm. involved and it's going to help trigger that parasympathetic healing as well which is very very important we have arms we have torso we have hip and glute and yeah. just about to release is something i want you to try when it arrives and that's yes. a uh, we're calling it super pants <laughs> foot, foot. does it do anything else <laughs> well uh a foot to the foot to the waist from the foot to the waist uh, it's really a common sort of glutes everything yeah 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 so last time i checked you guys are using uh your power muscles a lot and they That's all day long they, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah all day long absolutely so um that's also a uh yeah so that's been a combination now Another point of difference is uh, about 18 months ago, I came, came up with the dumbest business idea ever. Mm. And that is to put two people on one control unit. <laughs> so I didn't think like a business person. I thought like yeah. a coach. I thought like a coach. Yeah. And pretty much every team and club and family that yeah. have bought that uh, system, which is called a, it's called a duo system, duo two people, two people sharing. Yeah, yeah. Every every family team and club that we've sold to have been delighted with that. Uh, so I thought like a, I thought like a coach. And remember, the reason why we started this business was to put what we do in the hands of people that need it the most. Uh, Absolutely. And, and to think of ways that we can improve on ideas that have been around for a while because their units are quite powerful uh, compared to say some that are in the market, we're around double the pressure. We have the capacity okay. to, to run a second person. So um, a, a scenario for that would be a family might have, or a club or a team might have hip and glute uh, on one side of the unit and leg cuffs on the other side, or they might have arm cuffs in there as well. Absolutely. And, uh, but what is the big difference between hypothetically, you know, wearing or, or using your, the recovery systems compared to going for a massage? Yep. Okay. So I've, I get asked this question a lot. A good sports masseuse, and I've always said this, a good sports masseuse is worth their weight in gold. It's that thing you should be doing once a month or thereabouts. Uh, and you're mm -hmm. probably going to be crying. Well, I do anyway, uh, because yeah. there's going to be elbows. Amen. There's going to be, yeah. Uh, and uh, so what that is about is breaking down a scar tissue, lengthening muscles out, and that's a necessary part of, uh, of, of helping muscles to behave, uh, help, them, help them to lengthen out, help them to be functioning well. That's a necessary part of our business or as our um, practice as athletes. So that's something you do, mm -hmm. say, once a month. Do we replace that? No, we don't. However, the use case for our product is daily or twice daily. Okay, okay, and yeah. What, what we're doing is something that a masseuse cannot do. So we can't do the scar tissue thing, and that's, and that's yeah. really good. So the other thing I'd point out is, I don't know about you, but normally after I've had a sports massage, and this is quite common, most, yeah. people, most people are worse before they're better. Yeah, it does so, take some time and... Yeah, my kind of best results with a sports massage are definitely getting them kind of quite consistent. Um, yeah. And as, as you say, if you're going once in a blue moon, the the anxiety and pain you've built up after that is like, I think it can be quite often counterproductive because yeah, you know your now your system is in such overdrive because you've been probably gripping onto that bed for the last half an hour or hour. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's, it puts your whole body into kind of fight or flight. And yeah, so yeah, you definitely have to go much more regularly. And then that also, also comes at a cost, right? Uh, decent sports massage in Singapore, I know is probably about a hundred to hundred fifty dollars Yeah. So and then you've you, kind of already done it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, if you do the ROI, say for example, and I know it's, they're not exactly the same thing. If you've got a, if you've got two athletes in the family and they're using recovery systems daily. So that's mm -hmm. 14 treatments a week times say 70, $70 if that was an yeah. alternative treatment out there. 
the ROI, I, I think that in the industry, we've got one of the fastest ROIs of any product in the, in the industry. And when I talk to people, there's, we have customers here for, in Singapore from day one, and I see them at races, and they come up to yeah. me smiling, and they say, um, best thing I ever bought. I use it multiple times a week, every week. And I, I can tell you that they'll say to me, I've bought tons of things over the years, and they're sitting in the cupboard. Uh, you know, most people call it the cupboard yeah, of disappointments, yeah. you know. I think we've all got a cupboard <laughs> like that. And, the uh, yeah, well, we're, we're delighted. We're, you know, we're delighted that they're, um, folks are, are getting, um, still getting benefit. They're still seeing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and probably that's one of the best things. Why uh, Instagram's growing quite quickly is we've got a bunch mm-hmm. of rate. It's not because we're particularly clever at social media. Um, we're learning, <laughs> but it's because we've got a bunch of raving um, fans out there who are our everyday weekend warrior yeah. customers. Your testimonials are on point. Yeah, I yeah. actually read through a couple the other day, and uh, that was fun. That's yeah. amazing, man. Well, Magic stuff. Know, yeah, we're, we're delighted. So we, we love seeing those folks at, at races. And uh, so the, the one thing that we've done is we haven't stood still. So that the guy that bought the product four years ago within a, a product family, we have a couple, we have a battery version, which is a Black Max Pro. That's kind of like our flagship. And um, we're about to turn that into a duo. I mentioned two people sharing. Yeah. And that's, yeah. That, that's the one that will have the super pants. So that's the one I'm going to get get you to have a, a play around with. Uh, and I, I think in a, in a, yeah, yeah. In a, um, uh, and then a Bluemax, uh, the Bluemax series, which is mains powered. So you, you plug that one in. So everything that we've bought out subsequent within that family range is backwards compatible. So yeah, brilliant. No, nobody's ever said to us, hey, why didn't you tell me you were bringing out a new cuff, you know, because it won't fit this machine. They all fit uh, within yeah. the product family. We've uh, we've at, we've added on. We've done a, a very poor job of of um, our uh, of our email marketing, telling people about it. But we're we're getting better. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's about integrity, right? As well, I think, and people yeah. really uh, value that as yeah. you've gone forth. Yeah, well, we uh, we <laughs> asked us asked ourselves the question: What would we want? And yeah, uh, yeah. when we started this off and we wanted value, we wanted functionality and we wanted something that was, um, you know, that, that represented good, good value for the long haul as well. 100% man. Straight back into it. So uh, as a warm up, tell us a little about kind of uh, how you potentially can use a machine during your warm up process. Um, and yep. tell us a little about the sporting data on muscle oxygen boost as well. Yeah. Quite an interesting uh, uh, topic. Yeah, re- really, uh, really cool stuff. So what we found was uh, 10 minutes on the recovery systems would bring your muscle oxygen because we've got ways of measuring it. We've got muscle oxygen sensors. will bring your muscle oxygen up to a point that's probably above your 40-minute warm-up. So 10 minutes on the recovery systems, you're better off. You're, you're at a higher muscle oxygen than what it would take you 40 minutes. So you imagine this. Save you a lot of time, man. Yeah. Well, the other thing is there's a low metabolic cost for doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, as well. And, and so if you, if you want to focus on a PB on a, on a lift, for example, yeah. I, don't think, I don't think you want to be burning too many matches along the way before you get there. So the, yeah. the whole warm-up scenario is, is a really good one. So I've got one of my Spartan races. Uh, I'll mention, mention her, Jessie Montague. She's one of the top females in Southeast Asia. And she uses the recovery systems every morning before she starts training. Because she's under a okay. pretty, pretty intense training load. A lot of my athletes mm-hmm. do. And a lot of my athletes in colder climates do as well. So, for example... Yeah. Olympic velodrome rider, Liv Podmore in New Zealand, currently coming into New Zealand winter. She's, um, she's priming before she goes out, or before she does a, a gym session, a velodrome session, or whatever she's doing for the day, she does a preload or a prime on the recovery systems before she gets into her activity. When you think about it, as, yeah. a, as a fitness professional, I bet you, with all due respect, 
a lot of your clients mm -hmm. will come to a session rushing because they've just come off a, a conference call or whatever. And then they're trying to get into their valuable time with you under done. Yeah. Yeah. They, they 100%. Would, yeah. They would be better coming rather yeah. than doing a mechanical, a, too much of a mechanical, which would take too long. They would rather, yeah. they would be better off doing 10 minutes or even eight minutes is shown to yeah. be really yeah. And you'll see uh, they'll still need to do some mechanical movement, of course, because correct, correct movement patterns, off. et cetera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this is, a, this is a super good biohack for a, for a warm-up for pretty much all of us that are time poor and um, yeah. try, to, try to cram too much in. Everyone in Singapore. So going back to the, old, the age old saying uh, of the term rice, kind of rest, yes. ice, compression, elevation, especially for you know, injuries. Tell us a little about the ice and uh, why not to use this as a part of your treatments? Yep. Okay. So ice is a modality based on, uh, based, based on modern science. Ice is not, uh, is not favored now for recovery. It is favored for trauma. Yeah. Now, yeah. let me give you an example. Flow, yeah. Yeah. We, we work with New Zealand rugby, uh, for example. Um, hematomas. Yeah. Bruising, bruising tackles. This is an appropriate, or sprains and strains. So instantly, this is a, an appropriate uh, moment to use ice because you want to control bleeding and you want to uh, and you want to use it as a form of pain relief. However, it will yeah. mitigate muscle gain, and it mm -hmm. will it will delay healing ultimately because the first phase of healing is inflammation. Now. Um, yeah. Now, on the other hand, um, so use, use ice if there's trauma. So, for example, uh, one, of my, um, one of my customers messaged me uh, yesterday. She's, she had um, uh, a knee surgery a while back. And it, prior to that, she was using recovery systems for day to day. She had some biomechanical issues that ended up being knee, a knee problem, knee surgery. She strained, overdid it yesterday. And she messaged me, should I be using compression? I said, yes, you should. And by the way, because you have some pain right now, how about putting a gel pack in, inside the cuff, around mm -hmm. the injured area, and then zip it up and put the pressure down to about one third yeah. of what you'd normally okay. have. So then you've got, the, the magic thing is there, you've got ice compression therapy. I see. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So that that yeah. would be. So there, there's a there's a hack where and there's some uh, an occasion where I think using ice in combination with what we're doing would be a good idea. Yeah, quite novel, so, man. Yeah. And but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, uh, it sounds like something special that you guys have kind of come up with and tried and tested a good couple of years into it. What kind of separates you uh, from your category of competitors? Yeah, so there's there's quite a few choices out there, which is good. In fact, there's alternatives of where, as well, like uh, the guns and so on that we've seen. Yeah, uh, we do something slightly different. Intermittent compression is has kind of been an evergreen uh, product over the years. It's been around thirty years. Um, what sets us apart? We we looked at how do athletes use it. It's designed with we've got a a group of designers that we consult with. They're all athletes. Uh, I've had that background myself. And then we, mm -hmm. we look at how uh, we, we look at functionality around the cuffs. For example, we've got a knee length product that will fit in your backpack. It's 500 grams. So why did we create yeah, yeah. something so small? Uh, well, uh, up to the knee, you're getting 70% as effective as a full length cuff in a very... Uh, um, in, in a very portable form factor. So you can use that product on an airplane. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. So for example, those that, for businessmen, yeah. Yeah, DVT prevention and a yeah. whole, whole bunch of other things. And if you look at uh, the, the national cycling team, a bunch of those guys have got a full length cuff. That's their home recovery. And they'll take the, mm -hmm. the portable one, the mini with them, because by the time they pack bikes and wheels, they've got no more luggage. Yeah allocation so i'll take the mini with them and then we looked at modality pressure we we tend to be around twice the pressure of our competitors uh we tend to have 
more treatment modes. There's a couple of main ones, peristaltic yeah. and sequential. Now, I'll, I'll briefly touch on those. I'll put a diagram up as well. Peristaltic, a, a cuff split into four or six zones. Peristaltic is squeezing from the foot, then release, then moving up a zone, second zone, squeeze, release, third zone, squeeze, release, uh, fourth zone, and, and so on. That's peristaltic. Okay. That's, that's an appropriate treatment modality for some medical conditions. The, yes. other, the other mode is sequential. So squeeze the foot, then squeeze the second, continue yeah. on third, fourth, then release. That's sequential. Most athletes favor that because, of course, okay. with athletes, more is better, isn't it, Dylan? Faster is better, more weight. It just sounds more attractive, even when you're explaining it. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. So um, that, that's favoured. And we have the ability to zone control. So let's say let's say you've had a mishap with your foot. It's a bit sore. Yeah. Uh, and you want to take the pressure off that and treat everything else. So we can zone control, turn that, mode, turn that zone off, have everything else work. Uh, and then you, mm -hmm. you, we, we work into the... the um, the duo uh, systems, which is a world first. The knee length version yes. was world first to, to the best of our knowledge. And the duo mode was a, was a world first as well. Like really, really awesome. Uh, where can people, you know, post uh, circuit breaker, whatever it might be, where can people give this uh, lovely system a try? Well, if you really, uh, if you like the sound of it, if you're, if mm -hmm. you're serious about your sport and you, you want to, really uh, do, do something great for yourself around recovery. We've got, um, we're about to announce, so anyone that reaches out uh, through your show, uh, particularly yeah. for Singapore, we can do this easily in Singapore or New Zealand. Um, mm -hmm. if it, for anyone who seriously wants to try it uh, for a couple of days, we'll, we'll allow a, a try-by situation. So, you know, if after two days they discover, no, this isn't for me, we'll, We'll pick it up. Yeah. We'll get a courier to come and pick it up. So there's a there's a quick way um, that they can do a um, a, a trial of awesome. it. Awesome, um, absolutely. After circuit breaker, and as soon as our pants arrive, our super pants, I want you yeah. to try that, and I'd like to have that uh, down where you are at at UFIT or or yeah, wherever, wherever you may be. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, no, that sounds it sounds good, man. It sounds really for productive and it's been an awesome kind of a uh, good couple of minutes with you and uh, the company's taken off nicely. Where else could people find you uh, with regards to social media platforms, etc.? Yep. Uh, so we're, we're on Instagram recovery, recovery systems, uh, recovery system sport is our, um, uh, is, is a website. Uh, you, you'll find us through our, um, uh, through, through our Instagram as well. Just click on, click on, on our website link. Uh, we'll post this um, this video on on that, and we want to post something for built not broken as a discount code. So we're going to offer you the the two day trial, and we would like to offer your uh, clients and your listeners for the next month, say to the end of June, uh, ten percent off uh, off any of our beautiful. off any of our products. So uh, we'll um, at, at checkout just use the famous code built not broken and it's too easy work magically all right that was great thanks mike for your time and uh we look forward to giving those those magic pants a go or the super pants as you call them super pants, be yeah. rather interesting yeah all right great anything it's, else on your side mate no it's been great catching up thank you very much and